Hello everyone, I'm David Lawson. This year for Welcome Weekend, we have the privilege of hosting Naeem Fazel. Naeem has a remarkable story. He was born and raised as a Muslim in Kuwait. He came to the United States shortly after the Gulf War of 1990. And in 1992, he had a supernatural experience with Christ, a vision that changed the course of his life. In many ways, Naeem's spiritual journey tracks with that of other Muslim converts to Christianity. That is, God using supernatural means, visions and dreams to introduce adherents of Islam to Jesus. In 2007, research out of Fuller University reported 750 interviews with former Muslims who had converted to evangelical Christianity. Many of the reasons they gave for their conversion would be expected. The love of God, a changing view of the Bible, and an attraction to Christians who loved others. But one reason might come as a surprise to many of us. The experience of a dream they believed to be from God. Other stories have revealed similar results. Mission Frontiers magazine, for example, also reported that out of 600 Muslim converts, 25% experienced a dream that led to their conversion. Dream and vision conversion stories challenge the church, especially the church in the West, because we tend to elevate reason above experience, and now these experiences are challenging us to make room for supernatural divine intervention. So what should we say about the role of dreams and visions in hearing and believing the gospel? Well, consider this. Muslims, particularly Shia Muslims, are open to dreams being revelatory. Dreams and visions are both culturally and religiously accepted. So in their cultural, spiritual context, Muslims take dreams of Jesus seriously. Could God be using this context, including an accompanying gospel witness to gloriously and compellingly reveal Jesus to them? It seems so. In that regard, Naeem's story parallels the experiences of people like Saul and Ananias in Acts chapter 9, and that of Cornelius and Peter in Acts chapter 10. And it's consistent with the conversion of many other former Muslims today. And while that is Naeem's story, it's not everyone's story. It's not the only way, it's not even the usual way that God pursues people with his love. The Apostle Paul clearly stated that faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. That's the message Naeem will be communicating on Welcome Weekend. It's a message about God's pursuing love. So we encourage you to invite your friends, family, co-workers, and neighbors to hear about God's pursuing love for them demonstrated through Jesus.